Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. There is no point me trying to play it cool right now, okay? I'm joining you today from my new car, which is so exciting. I mean, I've only waited for this moment for literally over a year now. No, I don't actually, I don't actually know technically how long it's been. Um, and this is absolutely not the way that I had visioned doing, like, when I visioned when I got my new car that I would do like a whole video dedicated to it and that it would be this big monumental moment because this is literally my dream car and it's been like on my I don't actually really do vision boards I'll be honest but it's been like on my goal list it was kind of like the last thing that I was desperate to tick off and I've now ticked it off and it feels amazing but it's not this isn't the way I wanted to like I don't know, um, film this video. I kind of had visions of like me going to the showroom and like pulling the big sheet off and unwrap, <laughs> I don't know, like unwrapping the car. It didn't work out that way. Basically, the car got delivered to the house. Um, it actually did have that showroom moment. I got sent videos of that moment, but I, unfortunately it wasn't, I wasn't the one doing it. I don't really know why that happened, but yeah, I, it was so nice that my car got delivered to the house. Like it was so easy and handy. And like, I literally came outside the house and the car was here. Like it was amazing. Cause I didn't have that showroom moment. The car then kind of needed like a little, I wanted to get it washed properly and like have it sparkling so then I could get a cool picture with it to do like, here's my new car. I mean, it's all really path pathetic stuff, but I just, this was like a really big moment for me and I feel like I, it's, um, I've had the car for like, how long now? What, like three weeks, two, three weeks? Um, so I feel like it, I kind of just like haven't really celebrated it, which is a little bit pants. So I wanted just to come on today and say I've got my new car. As for what car I got, I'm sure a lot of you will have guessed I did get a Mercedes G-Wagon. And this has been literally my dream car for, oh my God, just years and years and years and years. And I just feel so lucky and happy. I've been driving it now for a couple of weeks. One thing I will say is that it was a very smart move to not get this car as my first car because this was the car that I wanted to have um, when I got my Range Rover um, but a lot of people said to me like this is ridiculous you cannot get this car as your first car which I agreed with because I didn't have any experience. I had a Range Rover Evoque before and honestly I loved it so much like, it was so good to me. I literally didn't have a single problem with it the whole time that I drove it and I also need to update you guys I feel like I have so much to tell you honestly I feel like I've actually got to catch up on so much stuff but basically I also told you guys probably about a year ago now that I had planned to give my Range Rover to my sister because I had like honestly I grew so attached to my last car that I really really didn't want to get rid of it when I got this car however I had planned to give it to my sister before I found out I was pregnant how do I explain this? I think if I wasn't pregnant, I didn't have like a lot of other things to be spending money on. Maybe I would have still given her my car, but I decided in the end to actually sell my car, um, which was very sad. I still actually got Zoe a new car. She's just upgraded her car. She had a Mercedes, now she has an Audi. So I got her a new car, but I just, I didn't give her my Range Rover, which was a bit of a, um, I wanted to do that for her and I really wanted to keep the Range Rover like I wanted to give it to her so that I could still see it but I just had to put my sensible hat on and I said to Zoe look like I would love to give you my car but um I've got a baby to think about now and the money from my car will be really really helpful for that um and she completely understood and there was no like there was no issues there whatsoever so I ordered this car coming up to a year ago now um so but to be fair they literally said to me exactly it would take a year for it to come and it took pretty much exactly that I think it was actually a little bit less than that um but I ordered it so everything in the car was picked by me um the interior the seats the color of the steering wheel the color of the exterior it's actually been a lot easier to drive than I thought it would be but it's big it is a big car sometimes I do feel like I'm driving a lorry I feel like I'm driving a coach and it's slightly scary but I'm getting more and more used to it by the day um just I just drove it then to go put myself up a Costa and I felt really confident in it um I feel like yeah every drive I'm taking I feel like I'm getting much more aware of the space that the car takes up and like how much space I need to leave between me and other cars I have just gone to the petrol station to pick myself up a meal deal but I'm not gonna like I'm, my meal deal is really bad and you're all gonna judge me for it but basically you guys know I love the ham and coleslaw sandwiches from M&S and I went all the way there to get myself a ham and coleslaw sandwich and 
they didn't have any so I had to just get ham. What I plan to do is make a crisp sandwich and I'm going to put these crisps in the ham sandwich. Then I also got a Yorkie but this was a completely under pressure decision because I was texting on my phone and then I looked up and then I was next in the queue and I hadn't put my chocolate bar yet. Do you guys remember when Yorkie bars on the wrappers it used to say like only for men or something? It used to say like not like just for men or only for men or something. <laughs> what? How was how was that allowed? How was that allowed? It always doesn't say it anymore, but how was that actually allowed, please? Even even like a few years ago, that is messed up. Funnily enough, I've actually just booked a face gym appointment, but what makes it funny? Because I just said funnily enough, it makes it funny because I'm not going alone. I've booked an appointment for Tommy and me. So Tommy's gonna have a face gym appointment as well. I feel like I definitely my face is starting to get a little bit swollen. Um I'm 32 weeks today and I feel amazing. I feel like really, really good. I feel super happy, super positive, um, really good within myself and my body. Like I'm really big. <laughs> my stomach is huge. Um, but I'm really glad that my new car came also before I got any further because I don't think I'd have probably felt too comfortable like learning this car um, if I was any further wrong in my pregnancy so I've had like a good few weeks to like get used to it and stuff and I feel like when baby girl arrives I'll feel confident to drive her around in it which was really important for me I didn't want to have her in the car with me at all if I didn't feel 100% confident and my confidence is, is nearly there now so I'm happy about that I'm so sorry for this literally the longest rambliest intro ever but um yeah we're gonna head to face gym in a minute but obviously the next clip you'll see I will insert footage of the car um, I've got so much to update you got on in this vlog honestly you have so much to talk about I've got to show you bits of the house like so much has happened in the house I've got loads to show you with the nursery but I'm probably gonna film a separate video on that but anyway I'm gonna get inside now have my meal deal enjoy that celebrate having my new car even though I've had it for three weeks but I'm just gonna pretend that I've just got it today and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog best believe I have driven around so many little streets just to try and find somewhere where I could park up where I'm not gonna get ran over by a car in the process of trying to show you my new car but yeah here we go here she is here is my new car also I've already edited this video and how many times can one person say car in the space of like five minutes of a video like i'm really sorry about that a little backstory this is a completely different color to what i had originally planned to get my car in i'd always dreamt of the day when i got this car that i would get it in a dark green so dark green was the color that i had always planned to get this car in almost like a bit of a forest green and not so much a khaki more like actually the color of like the leaves on the trees um but when i came around to ordering it and like picking the color and i was looking at all the different options i saw this dark chocolatey brownie gray i'd say like it's like a brown yeah brown color and i just fell in love with it and a wild card i just thought i'm just gonna get it in that color and just see what it's like and if i don't like it then in a year or so i can get it wrapped or whatever but luckily i absolutely love the color of it now i'm trying to i want to show you all around the car box i don't want to get my number plate in it as you can see like i said she is in no way shape or form a small car <laughs> it is kind of like driving a lorry at times like i say but um it's actually been even a few more days now since i spoke to you and i'm still just gaining my confidence more and more every day i did actually send the car back off to have the windows more tinted just because the car is so high up um when you're driving through town and things i feel like literally everyone can see inside the car especially with the baby and stuff like i just felt like I don't know like I'd obviously if you're driving through town and like you stopped at a light it's like anyone could see inside the car the back windows were already more tinted but I also had the front ones tinted obviously to a level that they're allowed to be tinted this is the back of the car so you've got the spare tire on the back which hopefully I will never have to put on because <laughs> I would have no idea how to do that anyway I'm going to show you inside now so quickly this is what the inside of the car looks like I don't want to talk about this I spilled hot chocolate down myself and it marked the seat belt and I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get that out that's what you get when you order a cream interior but there was going to be nothing stopping me from ordering this cream interior because I've wanted it like this it's like been my dream interior for inside my car even the style of seats um i chose and these seats are really cool because when you go around corners you see these side bits here they almost like tuck you in and say that you're like um going around a bend or like you're turning a corner these bits like i can't explain it but they they almost like push into your body so that 
you're like really protected in the seat. Then this is the steering wheel. I chose this in like, again, a chocolate brown color to match the exterior. And I just love this cream and chocolate brown combination. And then also, yeah, like the woodwork in the car is also in this like oak brown. Um, so I feel like it all just goes really, really nicely together. When you switch car brands, like brand of car, I've gone from a Range Rover to a Mercedes, everything is so, so different. So like where all the controls are and stuff, like the hazard warning light, button i always keep going to press it up here because it was close to the top on my range Rover, but it's all the way down here so when i'm like thanking cars for like i don't know letting me switch lane or whatever i'm always like where's the hazard button where's the hazard button adjustment for the seats is on the door in this car whereas before it was kind of like in my range Rover, it was like on the side here um you can have like a heated seat on all the window controls child lock which i'm sure will come in handy as well then the back of the car looks a little something like this i was given the option when i was um choosing what i wanted inside the car to have tvs on the back of the seats and i thought that obviously for when baby girl is here that would be quite useful although they're not like that straightforward to use i think you have to like I think you honestly have to like plug in a USB to like load things onto it. So really th like that's a little bit of a, not a fail, I'll still try and use it, but I need to like load films or like load TV programs onto like a USB to put them on here. This is a little bit of a boring bit, but this is the boot, which is a really, really good size to put a nice pram in here. Before Tommy got his G-Wagon, I forgot to, forgot to mention that, yeah, we've both got the same car now. But before Tommy got his, he had a Defender. And the biggest letdown in the Defender, even though we both loved that car, was that the boot was, honest to God, I'm not joking you, like, it was built for Stuart Little. It was absolutely tiny. Um, so, yeah, so much better now that we've both got a nice big boot that will fit a good pram in there and stuff. On the door for the boot as well, we've got, like, the matching, like, quilted cream interior that matches the seats. So, just to finish up, I will show you what it looks like when I'm sat in the driver's seat. Now, the engine's on. As you can see, um, it has, like, pink LED lights. And I set them to pink. Tommy has his as blue. Um, but you can literally have, like, any colour under the rainbow. You can also have them like changing colour um, So you can have like your own little disco going on in here But I just thought the pink with the cream Looks really cute and at night time it's such a cosy car to drive because obviously it's all lit up and you've got your little lights i honestly couldn't be happier with my car i just love it so much and i'm so happy that my confidence is growing more and more driving it like every single day like i say i'm so happy that it came now and not any later because i genuinely would have been so fearful taking the baby out in the car having not had any practice so yeah i'm very happy i'm gonna crack on with the rest of the vlog now the next clip is tommy and i in face gym just a very short random clip of us getting our facials um but yeah i hope you guys Enjoy the rest of the vlog. I've just had the most relaxing face gym appointment on the planet. I am so sleepy right now. And once again, I don't know how I'm gonna drive home. And Tommy did offer to drive here. And I said, no, I need the practice in my new car. And now I'm highly, highly regretting it. Do you enjoy it, babe? Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable, I'm glowing. You are glowing. He fell asleep how many times? Three, I kept him all that. I fell asleep at one point and went and then woke myself up. We went to Mamas and Papas, we picked up loads of cute bits, and I've also picked up some birthday presents for Erin, because it's Erin's birthday tomorrow. And I'm also going to get her a voucher for here. I'm going to get her a facial because I always go on about um, how much I love it here to her. Feeling a million dollars. We are now back from the Trafford Centre. So I feel like I keep saying this at the minute on my vlogs. I mean, to be fair, I am heavily pregnant, so it's probably why, but I just feel like I am so exhausted. Like, right now, I feel like I could actually just fall asleep on the bathroom floor if I curled up in a ball. This morning, I woke up at five, and I couldn't get back to sleep, so I just actually got myself up and just started to my day. I actually got so much done. And really, it's probably a good thing. Like, my body is a 100 percent preparing me for like what's about to come i just know that's what's that's what's happening i'll definitely stay out of stay out of everything through my pregnancy sleep has been what i've struggled with the most um the lack of it's just uh, my sleep has been literally non-existent if i get four hours or four or five hours in a night like that's really good for me um which is yeah i mean it's it's it's, it's what it is and it's literally preparing me for like I say, the newborn stage, and it's going to be like that when she's here anyway. I'm going to run myself a nice bath, just relax, and I'm going to have an early night because, yeah, this lack of sleep is really, really killing me because I feel like, how do I explain this? Obviously, when 
the baby's here, when she's here, like when she's sleeping, I feel like it'll actually be better because I'll be able to sleep at the minute. It's like my body won't let me sleep. So I feel like everyone's gonna be like, oh, and everyone says this in my DMs when I say about um, how I'm like I'm kind of prepared for the newborn stage. Everyone's like, you are absolutely not prepared for the newborn stage. Nothing can prepare you for the newborn stage. Like, people get really angry when I say it, but I don't personally see how, because if I'm getting like roughly like three, four hours a night sleep at the minute, surely when she's here and I'm no longer pregnant, my body will actually allow me to sleep properly. When she's sleeping or say like Tommy's helping me out with her or I don't know, like I'll actually be able to get a proper night's sleep. That's my theory behind it. Obviously I know she'll be waking up and stuff, but anyway, you know what I'm saying. Spot me there. <laughs> I'll show you that in a bit. I've got um, two huge frames that are getting put up in my dressing room soon, which is really exciting. I've been waiting for those for ages. But basically one huge, huge, huge thing for me through my pregnancy, which I have, well, obviously, as you guys know, like self care is a massive thing for me. Um, and like a huge part of my day is like in the evenings when I get to do my um, moisturizing and like my face and uh, my skincare routine and like have my bath and stuff. But recently in like the latter stage of my pregnancy, the smell of like fresh, clean water, clean soapy water and just like fresh, um, oh, like just hand soaps and body washes and all things that smell so clean and even just like warm running water. It just makes, I literally just want to bite into anything like that right now. It's like been my, that's literally been like my only craving. Um, that and chlorine, but I guess that's the kind, kind of the same thing, like just fresh, clean smells and that's why i've been obsessed with baths every single night because obviously like the bath is just like so clean and bubbly and oh i just love it so much i saw that Gemma louise miles said that she loved biting into sponges through the later stages of her pregnant pregnancy i think and like i know people have like all different weird like cravings towards the end but i guess it's not weird but yeah mine's just like clean water and like fresh scents and bathroom products and soaps not so much actually body moisturizers, but more just like body washes. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Along those lines, the reason why I started talking about that is because I want, um, you know, in our shower, we have like the shelves where we keep all of our products. I'm still not really showing you properly. I'll show you now. Um, but we have these shelves in the shower where we keep all of our products. And at the minute, they're not really looking that, like they've got all, everything on there that we need, but they don't really look that. I was going to say aesthetic, but Zoe actually told me the other day that I keep saying that word wrong. And now I'm really scared to say it because I actually say it about 85 million times in all my videos, but apparently I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. That's it. Aesthetic. Theh. There's a th in there, but I thought the third was silent and you could just say aesthetic. Listen, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm saying it wrong. I'm just... I'm making it a new word. Aesthetic. That's just the way I'm going to say it. So I don't know how you say it. I bought some products to pop, um, I got these ones from ASOP. I got a nice body wash. I also got a shampoo and conditioner. I won't be using this shampoo and conditioner, I'm not gonna lie, um, because this would probably turn my extensions bright orange, but Tommy will use these. Um, he uses literally anything in his hair and these will look super, super cute um, on the shelf. I also picked up another body wash from Way and a um, body scrub from Way as well. This is a hair and a scalp and body scrub, but like just, oh, all these kind of products right now are just tingling my senses. Then from Lalabo, I also picked up another body wash. I've got a problem, clearly. And I also picked up a little face cleanser. Again, not gonna lie, probably, I might use, I will definitely use this. I'm not sure if I'll use this because I've never tried this before on my face. And Lalabo aren't a skincare brand, so I don't know about that. I wanted to make the shelves look really nice and Pinteresty and, um, aesthetic or however the hell you say that word. So basically, the shower is on because Tommy's about to get in it. I'm going to get a full naked body out in a minute. Okay, all right, well just before you do that, this is the little setup I've got going on. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't really know what else to add, but yeah, this is, this is the setup, little Pinterest setup, that basically babe, you can't use so the only product you can use from that array is the e Spa shower I'll be using gel. Everything. No. I'll be using the whole thing. No, it's it's for display purposes only. You can use the things on that side. All right, all right, we have the We have a cozy little setup going on. 
right now. I've had a few comments saying that I really need to stop doing my baby voice, so I'm not gonna crouch down because if I get too close, the baby voice just comes on automatically and I literally can't help it. Um, see, even when I went to go see, say, Eggy, then I went to see it in a, in a baby voice. I've gotta stop. Anyway, greetings, guys. It's now a cup <sighs> the next day. I can't even remember when I last vlogged in this vlog. I've literally been trying to vlog all day, but the house has been completely full of people all day. And I had a really exciting delivery this morning and I wanted to open it and I've waited all day to open it because I knew I wanted to vlog me opening it. Let me just turn the cat's water fountain off because that trickling noise literally makes me need a wee and it's very distracting. Desperately need to take my makeup off. I look so blue right now. It's because of the LED light. I don't know why it gives off such a blue tone. Also, you guys may have seen on my home account, we got a new light for above the dining table and I am absolutely in love with it. I love it so much. It took a very long time to come. I think the light was the longest thing. I genuinely think we ordered it when we moved into the house. So I think we've been waiting for it. I'm not joking for about eight months now. <laughs> eight months for a light. Um, but I think it was worth it, you know. I had a couple of comments of people saying they preferred the one I had up before this. And obviously it's all personal preference. But personally, I think this is like, uh, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the house. I'm obsessed with it. So inside this big... Louis Vuitton box here. Providing I can push baby girl out, then I guess this will, I, I'm gonna consider this as my push present to myself. Um, but yeah, this came this morning and I've been wanting to open it all day, but I've waited to vlog it until the house is empty so I can actually talk to you guys properly. So let's prop you up and we'll open this together. Whew, sorry, I was just finding a decent place to prop you up. So basically, I bought myself my hospital bag. Yeah, okay, it's slightly ridiculous that I got it from Louis Vuitton, but like I say, I wanted to treat myself, and I feel like through my pregnancy, to be fair, I'm saying I haven't treated myself. I did I did vlog the other day when I went shopping and I got a few nice bits, but I feel like I just wanted to get myself a new bag to put all my hospital bits in, and I had this big Louis Vuitton duffel bag, but I've had it for years, and I use it literally every single weekend, and I just wanted to get myself something a little bit special, that I would keep forever and that I'll always remember having as my hospital bag. So that's what I did. I was doing a lot of um, watching videos on YouTube about people packing their hospital bags and some people opt for like a duffel bag and some people opt to take like actually like a little mini suitcase. And with this purchase that I made, I feel like I combined the two because I couldn't really decide which one I'd personally want to do, whether I'd want to take a little suitcase because it's obviously a lot easier and you don't have to hold it if it's really heavy. I kind of thought with a duffel bag that you can't really get that much organisation in it, so I also need to buy like dividers and stuff. I've got so much to buy, but now I've got my bag, I can start packing it. But yeah, anyway, let's get into it, sorry. I should probably have actually got the name of this so I can give you like the actual proper technical name. But here is my new purchase. <laughs> Quite a cool concept because it's a mixture of a duffel and a suitcase, like I say, is a bit of a push present to myself. Even if I can't push her out and for some reason, you know, it doesn't happen, it's still a push present because I'm gonna give pushing a go, obviously, and I'll give it a good go. I'm, I'm really, really determined that to have a natural birth, like if I have a natural birth and it all goes to plan and I push baby girl out, don't expect me to stop going on about it for maybe the rest of my life because for someone that like can't do blood tests, has like a fear of flipping everything to do with like needles and hospitals and all that gory stuff, if I push a baby out of my vagina, I don't know if I'd ever like actually get over it. And I totally understand that like, you know, it doesn't always go the way you plan and you may want to push your baby out and you may literally want nothing more than to have a natural birth. and you know, there may be a complication or baby's heart rate is, rate is dropping and they need to, you know, get the baby out really quickly. And I'm not putting any pressure on the situation to like, like I, I will absolutely only have a natural birth. Like whatever happens, happens. But I really, really want to try and push her out. Like I just think for me, that would be the biggest achievement ever. Yeah, a little treat to myself. I keep calling it a push present, but you know, whatever it is, it's, it's a present to myself and I can start packing it now, start doing my hospital bag. I've taken all the stuffing out of it so you can't really see, but yeah. 
very very happy with that very practical and i'll get a lot of use out of it i'm gonna take myself upstairs now run myself a bath my 87th bath of the week i've also got a really nice clothing order from plt that i want to show you tomorrow as well so whew, a mountain to climb also guys before i cut it off for today the vlog we got our sideboard in our bedroom which is basically like Basically the last thing to go in here, um, however the handles aren't on it yet, the handles are in that box, they're getting put on tomorrow, but yeah, our sideboard came. This brick bear Tommy actually got me from Dubai for my last birthday present, it was like a limited edition one, and I just think he looks really cool in here for a bit of a pop of colour, and we are planning to also get some artwork on that wall as well, I'm not sure yet, I don't know if I'm going to get something with a bit of pop pop of colour as well, or if we're just going to keep it. I don't know about the bedroom. Oh my god, I just, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. I love it so much. I feel like it's got to the point now where I'm like, I keep putting off showing you guys things, but really what for? Because we are honestly coming to the end now where we're coming to the end, <laughs> but we're coming to the end of like all the work being done and like our own furniture getting put in and just, it's very, very exciting. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Night. Today is what you call waking up on the wrong side of the bed i just spat sorry um i don't know what happened to me this morning when i got out of that bed but it was definitely the wrong side that i woke up because i just feel in a really hacked off mood i feel hacked off i don't even know why i just feel like grouchy just feel like there's actually quite a lot to do and i haven't bought a single christmas present yet christmas is in like 10 days i haven't actually bought a single christmas present and i don't know i feel like i've just woken up on the wrong side of the bed but i'm gonna take myself to tesco i need to get my car cleaned because i also need to film the clips to put at the start of this video to show you my new car um there is so much to be happy about so much to be grateful for and so much to not be in a bad mood about so i really don't know why i've woken up on the wrong side but i just think it's pregnancy hormones one minute i'm like on top of the world to be fair 99.9 percent .9 of the pregnancy i've been on top of the world and feeling amazing so the odd bad morning or bad day is really i don't feel like it's too bad james arthur has just brought out this new song called heartbeat i was playing the song yesterday in the car and i was by myself and i just literally burst into tears listening to it the lyrics it's almost like it was written for Tommy and I right now because James Arthur's just had a little baby girl and he's basically written this song to his baby girl and oh my god, like the lyrics. I was crying my eyes out listening to it. I was like, this is just so emotional. So we've started off strong. I've already had to make a stop off at Greg's because I've suddenly come over so hungry. So I got a sausage bean and cheese melt and an oasis just to eat as I'm going round. Um, oh God, I literally just got so hungry, but yeah. Shock horror, I'm back in the house. <clears throat> I hate it when vlogs are like literally based completely in the house. I feel like I've literally not been out of the house at all in this vlog. Um, me trying to vlog, packing away the shopping, that was comical like i am so bad at packing away shopping like is anybody else like horrendous at packing away shopping like i just i get so stressed because there's always like a big queue and i always like get so much shopping and then i'm like trying to like organize it into the bags like put the soft things in like the bread and the eggs all in like one bag but then next thing you know you've got like your shampoo and conditioner in with your flipping eggs and oh it just it got a little bit stressful so i'm gonna make some sausage rolls i've bought the things I need to make homemade sausage rolls and I remember my mum did it one year back when I was literally a young child and they were like the best things I've ever eaten so I bought some pastry some sausage meat and I'm gonna try and make like homemade sausage rolls to feel a little bit festive might put a Christmas film on clean the kitchen and just like get myself on track a little bit but I feel like a lot of my vlogging is like in the dark and through the windows when I'm in the house you can see that it's dark outside but guys it literally goes dark at 3 3 30 like the light starts to completely dim and the next thing you know it's pitch black and it just looks like i'm vlogging in the evening all the time but actually it's a perfectly normal time in the day it's just that obviously it goes dark so early now i realized i had a little friend sat with me the whole time being a little quiet mouse oh i love him freddy freddy boza Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing 
tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Tis the season most everywhere. So come home. There's no better place waking up on Christmas Day. I'm gonna be honest. They were a little bit, they weren't a complete fail, but they definitely weren't, I would not call this a triumph. Um, I'm glad I did them today though, because I want to do these for my family on like Christmas Eve um, and have like fresh sausage rolls. So at least I've now got a bit of practice in. And, and I mean, I don't know where I went wrong though. I think I didn't, squeeze the pastry tight enough together so they've kind of like all opened um so i need to like pinch it together more and also i don't think foil is the right thing i think you need to get like baking paper because a lot of the bases have stuck and then like i was pulling i don't know i was trying to get them off and the tops were coming off and then this oh it just oh, i just kind of messed it up the meat fell out that's not good <laughs> sorry there's no meat in I it. I think it's a strong 10 out of 10. It's just pastry. Oh, look. The, the bought pastry tastes great. I thought it was great. But well done. A star for effort. Thank you. Hello, guys. Today is a new day. I, well, what a shambles this vlog has been, eh? What a shambles. You guys probably clicked on this video thinking this is going to be a great video about her new car. And you've literally just had an unstable, emotional, hectic week from me. Um, but I'm starting again today, okay? We're going again for like the fourth time in this vlog. Today is a good day because Tommy and I are actually, I know I've got the tag in this coat, don't worry, I'm just trying it on. Um, Tommy and I are gonna go and get our Christmas tree. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. We're gonna go and get a Christmas tree today, which is good. This is positive because we've got literally nine days till Christmas and we don't have a Christmas tree yet. And then we're gonna get all the decorations and have a really cute, cozy Christmas evening. But before that, I just wanna quickly show you some bits I grabbed from PLT this week, which I said I needed to show you yesterday. I really want a nice little festive outfit to wear to go and get our Christmas tree. This coat is so cute. So it's like this dark chocolate brown teddy coat. It looks really expensive. I have this one from Max Mara, and this is an unbelievable dupe for that. I love my Max Mara one, I wear it every year, but this is actually very, very similar. I actually got this in plus, pretty little thing, plus size, um, and I got it in a size 16. So I would definitely, definitely recommend sizing up for that if you want to put like nice, like thick tracksuits on underneath and stuff. That coat and this little all black outfit would also look super cute with these boots that I picked up, which are unbelievable dupes for my Bottega boots, which again, I wear every single year. These are so, so similar and obviously a complete fraction of the price. I always find boots like this are so flattering on the leg. I don't know why they do, I just feel like they hug onto your ankles and kind of like sculpt your leg a little bit, but because they've also got a bit of a platform from the boots, it's chunky, gives you a little bit of height. I also picked up some other shoes as well. I got these, I think you'd call these like little snow boots. I don't think these are gonna fit me. They literally look tiny. I got them in a size four, but I think maybe size up if you're gonna get these. I got these in khaki and I also picked them up in nude. I picked up another coat. This one's very different to the last one. So this one's actually in like a faux leather. It's nude and I probably call this a bit of like a trench mac. I wouldn't really say it's a trench coat because it doesn't have a tie around. Let me just grab a little bag to put it with. This is a really, really nice coat. I love this. Quality feels really nice and I feel like it actually looks really expensive. And I picked this up in a UK 12. I'm sizing up, I'd say like one more size than I would normally at the minute, obviously because we are, oh my God, we're bumping. It looks, <laughs> it is huge. It's, it's huge. She's, she's really growing. And I posted a picture actually for PRT yesterday. I'll insert it here. And I had so many comments of people being like, oh my God, like the bump is bumping, like you're growing. And I'm like, oh God, like, I don't know. Cause I feel like, like I've said so many times, all the outfits that I wear are normally oversized. And I really feel like I've just barely shown my bump, my whole pregnancy, because it's, I don't wear tight clothes anyway. Like even for example, like I've got a black tight jumpsuit on today, but I've put a baggy jumper over the top because that's just how I dress anyway. But yeah, the reality is, is that we're big, we're growing and we really don't have that long 
left and it's freaking me out. Next up, I got this really, really cute little cropped jacket. I've probably got really hairy armpits. I probably wouldn't pair it with this, but just to show you, oh, I love this. I also got it in grey, which I'll show you. But this jacket, I've not got anything like this from PLT. I feel like I probably do need to start getting the bump out a little bit more because when I'm out in public, I feel like no one knows that I'm pregnant because I'm always wearing baggy clothing. So say like I could be, you know, walking with all my heavy bags and there'll be a gentleman across the street. Maybe if he could see my bump, he might be like, oh, do you want some help, love? But because I don't wear anything that shows the bump, I just carry on like normal. Like yesterday, I was in Tesco, stressing, trying to pack away my shop and everyone was just standing at me like, hurry up, like you're taking so long. Whilst I was basically having a heart attack because nobody knows that I'm basically 33, 33 weeks pregnant because I wear the baggiest clothes. But anyway, this jacket is super cute. I'm really happy with this. I picked this up in a size medium and I also got it in grey. Oh, I think I prefer it in grey, actually. I think grey actually looks quite nice with this little black jumpsuit. I'm very, very happy with those little jackets. I'm glad I got them in both colours. And I think when I don't have a bump, I will definitely wear these. I don't know if I'll wear them now at the minute. <laughs> I don't know if they look quite right with a big bump. But yeah, I can't wait to wear these when the bump has sunk a little bit so i picked up this gorgeous little cardigan this feels so so soft again beautiful quality i love the color of it as well just to wear around the house this could actually be really cute i feel like this is very like giving me it's giving me pregnancy vibes i don't know why <laughs> i feel like this is giving me i am pregnant like i am a pregnant woman um i feel like it's a little bit mumsy, you know? I feel like a little bit of a mum in this cardigan. Next up, I got this cute grey tracksuit. I have left my jumpsuit on underneath just for laziness and warmth purposes. I really, really like the jumper to this. I picked this up in a size 16. I love the collar of this. It's very, very snuggy. Like, you could literally have it done all the way up or you, know, you can wear it down like I've got it. I mean, this is the most me outfit ever. Anything that's just snuggy and cosy and just... I just wish I could dress like this all year. Like, I don't want summer to come. Summer can just actually stay where it's at because winter is for me. I also picked up a couple of basics from PLT. I got these maternity ribbed leggings and I got these, see, in a size medium to large, which I think looks about right. And I also picked up this basic set, which consists of ribbed leggings in a really nice colour. This is kind of like a grey nude colour and these ones actually come with a matching zip up top which I thought on the bump would actually look really nice if I did feel confident enough to wear a little tight outfit you know. And that's everything that I picked up from PLT it wasn't a huge order but I'm really really happy with the bits I got like you know when you do an order and you're like I'm actually gonna wear I just choked I'm actually gonna wear everything in that order that was one of those orders, so I'm very, very happy with that. I'll link everything down below. I'm going to put one of my cosy outfits on, and then Tommy and I are going to head to get our Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. I think this could be somewhat amusing. I'm probably going to try and include it if this vlog isn't getting too long. Even if it's getting long, I, you know what? I, it is what it is. I, I'm, a, I'm a vlogger now. I, I've produced 40-minute vlogs. I'm basically doing vlogmas. <laughs> I'm basically a full-time vlogger. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Make Sam Blitzen all these reindeer. So guys, the trolley is getting full. Yeah, it's not it. Yeah? yeah. And no, is it? So how, how do we go about getting it now? I think we can give you that. Yeah. So we've come to Bent's Garden Centre. Don't ask me why we've never come here before. It's honestly. Some sweet treats. Yes, we're going to go in and get some sweet treats. Oh my god, oh my god. Food stalls in there and everything. It's so cosy. I mean, this isn't cosy right now because it's freezing. Guys, that's our tree. That's our tree. He's <laughs> a panda. That's our tree. Should we call it panda? Okay. Um, we got a seven foot tree. It's the last seven foot one they had, and it was somebody's, but they didn't come to collect it. So we've nabbed it. Tommy, we need to get a star for the top Have of it. We need to get a star for the top of it. Yeah, what? We need to get a star. A star? Yeah, we'll get one. Yeah, so because the theme that we've gone for is food for our tree. We've got um, cake slabs, we've got donuts, gingerbread men, candy canes, sparkly balls. Lollipops. Wow. Do, do that thing. It, Tommy, 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 do that thing that you just did before. Betty! Betty, hello. No, you did it wrong. Let me do it. Say name the film. Name the film. Betty, hi. 
<laughs> if you don't know that Christmas film, then we can't be friends, basically. We actually ended up coming here with Tommy's mum and Tommy's brother. So we've had a really cute little family trip out, um, which is so sweet. But um, I want to pick up a few more decorations because I don't want to get home and feel like we don't have enough. And this garden centre, Bent's in, I think, Warrington. It's unbelievable. I don't know why we've never come here before. It's like... It's, it's kind of like a farm shop too like they've got food here they've got food stalls i am so excited to come back here with the baby next year like it's so special it is quite expensive i'm not gonna lie like to get all the decorations and things but we'll keep them each year and reuse them um we just need to find somewhere to store them in the house also i look like rudolph the red nose reindeer <laughs> it's so cold tommy with the tree in the background what's the plan babe is that our ticket for the tree we officially have a tree oh my god tree number 39 and 89 how much is the tree £69. £69, wow. 20% off. I mean, wow. 20 off. Right, should we go and get some snacks then? I'd like to. Should we try and find your mum though so she can come out and get some snacks with us? I don't feel well. I don't like it. I'm scared that everyone's going to think, who does she think she is uploading vlogs this length? I, I'm sorry. 39 minutes was one thing. I uploaded a 39 minute a few weeks back. F 40 minutes plus is, I'm terrified. Before this vlog gets any longer, I am closing it off. I absolutely love this vlog. I don't know why. I just, there's so much going on. Like I literally, I got my new car in it. We did our tree in it. I did a PRT haul in it. What else did we do? I made sausage rolls in it. Oh, sorry. I'm an active queen. I'm an active mother at 33 weeks pregnant. I'm proud of myself. Anyway, I'm going. I'm back. Let me just quickly show you the tree, the finished, the finished product, and then I literally am going. Ta-da! Here she is in all her glory. Um, I did just have a ball ball fall off and smash. I didn't realise that they would smash if they fell off. They're obviously glass ones um someone did say that the star looks like it has um <laughs> i don't want to say it because now you're not gonna be able to unsee it someone said the star the star looks like it has an erection and yeah okay maybe it does but maybe i'll start wanting to have an erection okay it's christmas time leave it be guys over and out i will see you all in my next vlog if you made it to the end of this video then you seriously are a trooper and i love you millions and i will see you guys very soon bye